Hey, good morning. We're at 1 Samuel 17. This is the David and Goliath chapter. And between verses 12 and 19, now that's where we'll read. And we're going to see that David is sent up with some supplies. Let's check it out. Now, David was the son of that Ephrathite of Bethlehem, Judah, whose name was Jesse, and who had eight sons. And the man was old, advanced in years in the days of Saul. And the three oldest sons of Jesse had gone to follow Saul to the battle. The names of his three sons who went to the battle were Eliab, the firstborn, next to him Abinadab, and the third was Shammah. David was the youngest, and the three oldest followed Saul, but David occasionally went and returned from Saul to feed his father's sheep at Bethlehem. And the Philistine drew near and presented himself forty days, morning and evening. Then Jesse said to his son David, Take now for your brothers an ephah of this dried grain and these ten loaves, and run to your brothers at the camp, and carry these ten cheeses to the captain of their thousand, and see how your brothers fare, and bring back news of them. Now Saul and they and all the men of Israel were in the valley of Elah fighting with the Philistines. So David is sent in with the supplies. David is, you know, he's kind of the cheese courier, it looks like. Not the highest position around. But we kind of see these three older sons, and there is some fighting going on. They're there lined up, and there's, I'm sure, some skirmishing happening along the way. But but the big battle isn't happening because because... No champion has arrived for God's people yet. Saul somehow isn't that champion. So God is working providentially here, and David is being sent to the location for this monumental, this epic confrontation. And so that's the way God works. He works He works sometimes through a guy that's carrying cheese, you know. He works through a guy that's bringing a, 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 some, some wheat along to supply the food for his brothers in the army. So the big bad three brothers, they're there, but they're not out there challenging Goliath. You may feel like you're a very humble person, and you may be a very humble person. David was a very humble person that day. He's, you know, after all, he's carrying a little bit of wheat and some cheese. He's carrying it to the guys that are the real serious stuff, you know, the, the army guys. He's carrying it to the guys out there in the front lines of the battle. Sometimes all we are is we're just couriers. We're just carrying something. We're just transporting something from one place to another. We're not looking for any epic battle. We're not trying to confront Goliath, certainly, not on our to-do list. And that's not on David's to-do list because as David walks into the camp there, he doesn't know anything about this. Not a well-established grapevine at there at those times, I don't think. So God works in very small ways, but he's, he's going to bring a giant thing by putting things in order. Watch for God's providences. Make sure that you're not too quick to say no when you're put into a situation of transporting something or going somewhere. God may be planning to use you in the most humble way to do something really giant. And if it's not something giant, oh well, no problem. But if it's something small or medium or large, it doesn't matter. If it's for the kingdom, it's for his glory. And so David... David doesn't say, oh, I'm afraid to go up there. I might get in trouble. David takes the cheese and carries it on up. David is the cheese courier, and providence is in play. Let's you and I pray together. Dear Father in heaven, help us to be faithful students. Help us to be faithful couriers, faithful this, faithful that, whatever we are. Help us, Lord, to do what we do, whatever it is. Help us to do it with might. It may all be small stuff, and that may be all it ever is, and that's fine, Lord. Uh, but if if you want to use us in a providential way, help us not to block that by going off on a tangent or just avoiding the opportunity. Lord, you be the one who directs our path. Help us to come along, along straight along wherever you send us. And I know you'll work through your people today, just as you worked through your people these thousands of years ago with David. Now, bless, we pray, us on our journeys this day. And we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord bless you on all of your journeys today and keep you and use you for the big things and the small things.